An 18-year-old Iowa gang member has been charged with two counts of murder after taking a gun into a school founded by a local rapper for Atris Cuth and shooting dead a 16-year-old and 18-year-old from rival gangs. Preston Walls cut off his GPS ankle monitor, which he was wearing following weapons charges, 16 minutes before entering starts right here in Des Moines, police said. Will Keeps, a Chicago-born rapper who joined the city's gangs at the age of 13, then moved to Des Moines and became a community activist and founded the school, saw Walls enter. Keeps saw the 9mm handgun with an extended ammunition magazine which Walls, described by police as a known gang member, was carrying, and escorted Walls out of the building. But Walls then turned and shot at the two teenagers. Both were severely wounded, and died in the hospital, Keeps was also critically injured and remains in the hospital. Walls then ran off, and got into a car. Police tracked the car, and arrested two inside, Walls ran off again, and was tracked down by police K-9 and arrested. Walls was charged on Monday night with two counts of first-degree murder, attempted murder, and participation in a criminal gang. Officers said the victims were targeted and that there was nothing random about the attack. A car matching witness descriptions was stopped by police at about 1.20 p.m. two miles from the school. Three suspects, including Walls, were apprehended, after Walls tried to flee from the car. A witness who worked next door to Starts Right Here said she saw somebody running from the building after the shooting, while police pursued them. We just saw a lot of cop cars pouring in from everywhere, witness Nicole Krantz told the Des Moines Register. It's terrifying. We're all worried. We went on lockdown, obviously. We were all told to stay away from the windows because we weren't sure if they caught the guy, Krantz said. Sergeant Paul Perizek, a spokesman for Des Moines Police, said the violence was gang-related. We've got two people dead, so we're looking at the most serious charges, he said. The incident was definitely targeted. It was not random. There's nothing random about this. It was certainly a targeted incident. He said they were yet to pinpoint the motive. But as far as getting motive, that is something that we are going to try and figure out, he said.